Let me show you a couple tricks you can use to animate in and out shape layers all within Premiere Pro. Let's start with a simple rectangle around the logo just to highlight it and have it animate in and out. Underneath video transitions in your effects panel, there's some wipes, but to make that faster, we'll just go to the search bar, type in wipe, scroll all the way down, and right here underneath video transitions, these are the stock transitions. Let's just go for wipe, drag that onto the beginning of the clip and our wipe, looks like that. Then you can take that same wipe, drag it to the end of the clip, and it can wipe on and wipe off like so. The most basic way of doing an animation in and out using the stock transitions, creating something really simple to call out something on the screen like a rectangle. Our next one, we wanna do something similar, but add our own custom animation for it to come in and out. And for this one, we're gonna do a circle. So I'm gonna go back up here to my shape. If you hold down on your mouse a left click and go to the ellipse tool, now you can grab an ellipse. When you're clicking and dragging, hold shift to make a perfect circle, which this is a perfect circle in, in person, but because this is at an angle and it's moving, it's just slightly off by a perfect circle a little bit. So we have an ellipse here, click position, remove my actual clip, and we have something like this. I could finagle this even more, but for right now, this is what I'm gonna go with. And since we have a circle, I think this is a good time to do something like a radial wipe. Here underneath obsolete, I know it's obsolete, still works pretty good. I'm gonna click and drag that onto my graphic. Now this one's a little different that you have to take the transition center or the wipe center and move it wherever you need it to be on your program monitor. So if I were to do this transition completeness, it looks like it's okay, but what I need to do is move my uh, center to the center of the O. And now if I do transition completeness, it goes like you would want it to from noon or from 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock, whether you want it to do clockwise or counterclockwise. We'll start from 100%, go down to zero. I'm going to right click both of those, ease in, ease out. That's just going to create a Oh, let's make it a little bit bigger so you can really see the difference here. I'm also gonna click this and move it over. Again, I'm seeing this because I'm hitting this little down arrow. That's really cool. For this one, you could animate it out. In fact, I'll, I'll animate it out just for you guys. So I'm gonna click this again, move my playhead and go to 100, whichever way you wanna do it. I want it to slow down as it approaches. <laughs> that actually looks really neat. I want to take this a step further and you can add some brownie points to a team if you're working in a team or if you're doing graphics like this a lot, it would make more sense to make a template out of this action. So I have my radial wipe and I'm gonna take this to the next level by creating a little call out here on this knob. So I, let's say I want to have that same radial wipe. I also wanna have a little call out bracket that sticks out. And I want a little title that sits here that says like it's a turning knob or you can adjust, whatever it may be. It's a little call out, right? I wanna use that same radial animation though. I'm going to take this graphic, hold option and duplicate it so I don't mess with this one. In fact, I'm just gonna create a new circle. So we'll we'll keep the radial wipe and I'm just gonna create a new circle here. Hold shift, center. So we have that same radial wipe. Right here is where we will do our responsive designs. If you click inside the effects controls window, in this little blue area, this blue rectangle, you can click and drag that out. Now, anything within this area is going to respond to however long or short you make your clip. I'm gonna do this to the end too. So I'm gonna make it like this. Now check this out. I can make this clip this long, and let me make this bigger so you can see what's going on. See this lighter pink? It's just keeping my animations the exact same duration within that protected area. If I move my animation like this, it 
again, keeps it the exact same. Responsive design is a super cool feature because I have this set up how I need it to for future projects down the line, I'm going to right click and export as motion graphics template. And once I export this as a motion graphics template, I'll just export it as circle radial wipe, circle radial wipe, save that to wherever you want that to go. Hit okay, it exports it. And now if I were to go to browse and look up circle, nothing comes up because I have to add my Mogurt. So I'm going to install that motion graphics right here is that circle radial wipe, hit okay. And there it is. Anytime you need to do this animation now, it's there. So now I'm just gonna delete this just to prove to you what's going on. Click and drag this in. And I now have a stock radial wipe for a circle that I can customize on any future project. Super powerful stuff. I'm going to customize this and fit it to what I need to. Next part I want to do is a call out. So I'm going to grab my pen tool and add to this layer like so. I'm gonna hold shift so I get a straight line. And by the way, a question to you all editors out there that know more about this program than I do. If there is a way to take this first node that I made, or if it's called a node, whatever this, this point is, and extend this line up to this area, without using the selection tool. Because if I use the selection tool, it moves the entire shape, which is not what I wanna do. I just want to use my pen tool and extend this up to right here. But I don't know how to do that because anytime I click right here, it completes my shape, which is not what I'm looking to do. What I wanna do is move that point independently, like what happens with this point or even on the end of this point. So if anybody knows how to do that inside Premiere Pro, please let me know in the comments. But for right now, I'm just gonna use the selection tool and move this up to the point where it needs to go. Let's say we just wanted to add our title and let's just type in handle. And now we have a circular motion in and the handle's already there. If you wanted to add more to this, just take the radial wipe and Add, put it above all of that. So now we're gonna radial wipe on everything. Like so, that's one quick way to do it. Another thing we could do is maybe add our normal wipe on. So we're gonna add this wipe right here. And now we get something like that, which is so cool, right? Next one, I just wanna show you that it's possible to just create your own shapes. So like right here, let's say we wanted to point out that there's back support. If I grab the pen tool, I'll click and fill that. So now we have a cool little arrow. In fact, let me get a little stylized with it. And this is just a really quick way to put on an arrow. Now I'm gonna take that graphic and make it to the beginning of the clip and the ending of the clip. And one thing that I like to do really easy with graphics is use my smooth movement transition pack. So if I hit shift seven and just type in the word smooth, and I could do this smooth in from the left. So if I just click this, drag it on, it will bring in that arrow from the left. Um, let's say I wanna move it a little bit more. So right there, and uh, I could do smooth out to left if I really wanted to. It smooth in, smooth out. Obviously the clip is very quick, so I don't need as much with that. So I could go over here and just, make that a little bit shorter. That's just using the transform effect. If you wanna pick up my smooth movement transition pack, it's on my website. I have a link to it in the description below. But if you wanna learn how to do that yourself, I'm gonna delete these really quick. And here we're just starting from the arrow. I'll delete that other graphic. We're starting with the arrow. I'm gonna hit shift seven and look up transform. And the reason we're using the transform effect is because it has motion blur. So trans, form. Here we have distort. So drag that onto our graphic layer. So we're not confused. I'm going to undo or uncheck the mo vector motion, uncheck the um, motion. And right here we just have position. So I'm going to click the stopwatch on the position, go to the beginning, go over like this, right click and do Temporal interpolation, ease in. Temporal interpolation, ease out. 
do a little stopwatch and I like it to ease in. So I pull the handle like that. Let me zoom in right in here on this one and we get something like this. Uh, I'll make that a lot longer. And we want to take our shutter angle and do 180. Hit play. If I pause it a little bit, see that motion blur. If I go down to zero, there's um, no motion blur. If I go all the way up to 360, that's a lot of motion blur. I find that 180 is a happy medium between all of that. There we go. I could animate it out, but I think you would get the idea from here. Just use the transform property and keyframe the position with that, with the shutter angle at 180 for a happy medium of motion blur. If this video was helpful, leave that thumbs up. Hopefully some of these tips will help you do some quick, simple animations of your shape layers or graphics within Premiere Pro without having to open up After Effects. Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, my name is Javier Mercedes. Until next time. <laughs> I normally say that differently, but you get the point. All right, bye.